Hello and welcome each and all to the Lady Boss Show. I'm Janice Smith and it brings me great pleasure to be your host. I am so glad you tuned in to the Lady Boss TV One channel. You are in for a real delicious treat today with our guest, Christine Mumfries. She is the owner and the head baker, yes, the head baker for Mumfries Rum Cake. It's an online company that delivers scrumptious cakes filled with great flavor. But this is what really excites me about Christine. She is an entrepreneur that has created a program to help start your own business. She is here to tell us all about it and share a little bit about her company too. So you will definitely want to stick around because we do have a whole lot of goodness in store for you today. So ladies and the men who love us, sit back, grab your favorite cup of joe, and come back and spend a little time with me. And when we come back, Christine will be joining us in studio. And welcome back to the Lady Boss Show. I'm Janice Smith, and just as I promised, I'm here with the owner and head baker, Christine Monfries. Welcome, Christine. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. So let's start, I'm just rubbing my hand. Let's start with just finding out a little bit about your company. Okay. So I am the proud owner of Monfries Rum Cakes. That's why I'm is... rubbing my hands. <laughs> which is an online bakery specializing in rum infused cakes and cheesecakes. Mm. So rum infused cakes and cheesecakes? That's right. So when you say infused, do you make the ingredients and then you put the rum in or you bake the rum in? I bake the rum in. Ah. So um, once it's baked, um, everyone can have it, right? Children, adults, um, oh, it's so not overpowering. It's not overpowering. No, it's not. Okay, but what about those, I, I won't call them alcoholics, but, <laughs> but what about those people that really love their, you know, the rum? Do you make special customized um, cakes that maybe have a little bit uh, extra rum that are, is not? Well, really that's where I tell them that they can pour their own okay. or they can eat the whole cake themselves. Maybe they'll get a, a punch it. off to that. Yeah, got <laughs> it, got it. I remember uh, growing up, and you probably can remember this, um, our parents used to soak the rum for like what seemed to be forever, forever right? <laughs> years almost. Yep. You know, I remember uh, going to my mother-in-law's house and she would actually then make the cake after she soaked the rum and then would pour more rum on. <laughs> it was more rum with a little cake, but it was, right. it, was, it was good. But I like what you're saying yes. because they can basically do the same thing once you do it, but they have the Christine touch to it. Exactly. Yeah. So I do soak my fruits um, as, you know, as soon as they're done, then I, I replace it. So oh, okay. my fruits are always soaking, always ready always for ready the cake orders. Yeah. How did you start this business? Like, why did you, what made you decide to start your own business, especially cake business? Well, um, this is something I did on the side. Uh, it's something I enjoy doing. Um, I got the recipe from my mom at an early age, and it's something like I said, I enjoy baking. So and these are family recipes, eh? Family recipes. Yeah. And um, I started bringing in cakes to work, and then I started selling them. And then you so saw it was the like a side gig for people, me. Yeah. Right. I'm sure a lot of people said, you should open up your own business because it was that good. Exactly. Yeah. What's the most asked for cake? Um, it is definitely the rum cake. Mm -hmm. And I've introduced um, the rum infused cheesecakes, which also include, uh, include pureed fruits. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it gives it its richness. I actually like that because I know that that, that cheesecake, I mean, we, yes, we have the rum cake, but the cheesecake is, is really your, like your specialty or your key difference in That's terms of right. other bakeries. That's you know, right. Like... You try to be as original as possible. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. And uh, soon, uh, within the spring, I'll have a cake subscription service where you oh, can wow. get your monthly cakes delivered to you. Yeah, it's funny. I was going to talk about that because it's an online uh, bakery. That's right. Um, which means do you have online or do you also have a store present or it's all online? It's all online. It cuts out all that overhead costs of the brick Smart. and mortar. So Smart. this works for me. Yeah. And that's why you, you did it, eh? That's right. So do they, are they able to pick up the cakes or do they, you just deliver it straight to their home or to their place of business? They do have that option to pick it up. I'm located in the Mississauga area and I also deliver throughout the GTA. 
Wow. So what's the turnaround time in terms of if they ordered the cake? What would be the turnaround time to have it if they did not want to come pick it up? At least 48 hours. That's pretty good. Yeah. So you can make a cake in two days? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. You know, it's funny because usually when I, you know, I do parties and usually they ask for at least a week. Right. Uh, you know, of notice. So yes. it's good to know that your turnaround time is yeah. only. I always two... make sure I have all my ingredients. So I'm ready. You yeah. have it down to a science. That's then, right. Eh? <laughs> wow. So when you told your mom that you were going to take her ingredients and recipes and yes. make a business out of it, you know, what was her first reaction? She was thrilled. Yeah. She was thrilled because um, I was working at a job that became very stressful for me. Mm. And she knew that I loved baking. And being an entrepreneur now, I get to spend more time with her. So yeah. she, she enjoys that. Yeah. So I want to touch on that a little bit because you said that you were on a job that was very stressful. And a lot of, like, you know, women, you know, you, know, the, you know, people that, you know, want to start their own business, a lot of times they're afraid to do that. Yes. Because, you know, they don't, it's the unknown. You had a nine to five job, set paycheck. Yeah. But yet you, you know, you decided to basically, you know, jump off the diving board. Right. Like, how was that for you, like, just to do that? Well, uh, prior to being an entrepreneur, I was a bus driver, a city bus driver for 10 and a half years. Wow. And for the last three years, I'm starting to get this itch that I really wanted to be my own boss. Um, I wanted to set up my own business. Um, I found my job very stressful. And, you know, if you don't like something, then you do something about it. Mm -hmm. So I spent like three years researching about small business, um, how I could support myself, especially within the first year. Uh, and that's the key, you know, a lot of, you know, women, but in general, people don't realize the planning. So you didn't just go, okay, I quit. I'm going to start exactly, my business. Exactly, right. You did some steps. That's right. Yeah. I did a lot of networking and um, I wrote out my resignation letter and I submitted it uh, January of 2018. And you can remember that. I feel so yesterday. liberated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Did you do so one of those free. rocky things? <laughs> you... uh, I just laid out in bed like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was yeah. an awesome feeling. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it was like a celebration of yes. sorts, eh? Yes. So I know, um, you know, the challenge of starting your business in terms of getting the finance and the funding. Tell me, was that one of your challenges? It was one of my challenges. Um, I did have some savings put aside. So once I did start, I did a lot of spending because I, I bought a lot of inventory. I attended a lot of um, galas and events. And uh, so it's, it was all about finding the customers, getting the sales mm -hmm. to replace your paycheck that you were making mm -hmm. prior to that so mm -hmm. that was that was one of the challenges mm -hmm. but i continued to push through and to be persistent mm -hmm. now i know that uh you know we had a little conversation before we started and there was this recent success that you had in terms of a grant right Do you want to share that of course <laughs> so uh the summer of 2018 i applied for a five thousand dollar grant with the city of mississauga mm -hmm. so i was one of the fortunate ones out of six people uh, to win that grant um, but there were many others that did apply and did not get through so this is where i think i'm going to take a break i'm going to leave them hanging because in that process you you developed a program where you can help up and coming entrepreneurs now get a grant. That's right. That's right. And yes. you did it because you wanted to pay it forward. That's right. I think this is a perfect time to take a break. All right. So when we come back, we're going to hear more about this program and how you're helping people to start their own business. All right. So fill up your cup of joe and come on back on the other side. Welcome back to the Lady Boss TV show. I'm here with Christine, the uh, head baker for her very own business called Mumfrey's Rum Cake. Mm -hmm. And we were just about to talk about the new program that you have created yes. as a result of being one of six to get that very special grant. So first of all, tell me a little bit about, I want to hear about the, the journey in terms of how you decided to do this program. Mm -hmm. like, tell me the steps and what, what made you decide that you wanted to do this program? Okay, well, as I mentioned, I was fortunate uh, to um, be awarded a $5,000 grant with the city of Mississauga. And um, 
to tell you the truth, um, I submitted that application literally 10 minutes before the deadline wow. <laughs> because I had to create a business plan. And to create a business plan, you're looking at about a good 15, 20 hours in order to complete it properly. And then it came down so to- So you did your own business I plan? I did my own business plan. They gave us the templates mm -hmm. and we did our own research. Mm -hmm. And But when it came down to the cash flow uh, part of it, I was like, oh my God, look at all these numbers, <laughs> right? And uh, I almost quit. I almost quit after putting in all that work. And I literally just took the time and uh, worked on it and submitted it like 10 so minutes. So you did the cash flow too? I did. Wow. I did. So wow. <laughs> after putting in all those hours, um, I was just really grateful to know that, you know, I was awarded um, the grant and you know, the hard work really paid off. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't help to think about all the others that applied and didn't get through. Mm -hmm. And I know it's very challenging for entrepreneurs especially when they're just starting uh, to get funding uh, for their small business. So I thought, how could I help? There's gotta be a way I can help. Mm -hmm. And I thought one way of doing so is having entrepreneurs create a grant for each other. So this is where- So this is your brain, this is your brain child. This is your, your ideal. Wow. Yes. Wow. So it's called the 1111 Success Grant. Wow. And the reason why it's called the 1111 mm -hmm. Success Grant is because... So you're reading my mind now. <laughs> I was going to ask you. I was, I was like, this is good. Yeah. I can go home now. <laughs> so that's the number that I saw on a regular basis before I quit my job. That's the number wow. that helped me quit my job wow. to do what I'm doing now. So it's very one. inspirational, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's where... Um, People will go online, or entrepreneurs will go online, mm -hmm. and they're gonna fill out questions uh, pertaining to their business. So you already have a template then in terms of the program you develop. So the program that you developed, was that, did you, did you do that, or were you in collaboration with the designing the, 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 the computer program, say? No, I drafted out um, what the template would look like. And, um, so you got some skills then. Got some skills. You got some skills, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, You're not just a head baker. No. Hey? That's pretty good. So like basically four questions they're mm -hmm. going to be answering pertaining to their business. Mm -hmm. No business plan required. So you try to make it as simple as possible. As because simple as possible. You kind of remember that, the, you know, though it's great that you got that grant, yeah. you remember it was really tedious until yes. you want to kind of take some of that yeah. away. Right. Okay. And uh, once they finish answering those questions, they're gonna submit um, a $25 application fee. And this, is, this fee helps to create the grant, oh. right? So it's a monthly grant, so people can apply on a monthly basis if they want. And um, all the best to, to everyone who uh, So enters. what are the grant ranges? Like is it from, like how much grant can they get? Is it, does it range from 5000 or to 1000 or, or it's that? Based, it's, a, it's a base of $1,500 a oh, month. That's good. Yeah. So they get it monthly? Monthly. So if, um, the thing is, they have until the, the first, until the 25th of the month in order to apply. And then the last few days is where me and my coaches um, go through all the submissions. And then we choose uh, the winner for that month. And then we publicize... Um, who this business owner is. Ah. We'll put them on the website, we'll advertise Got them, they have their picture, um, their um, social media feeds and so forth. So can they, so they won the $1,500. Right. So the person who, when they win that, now, yes. the $1,500, mm -hmm. do they get that one time? One time. One time yes. grant yes. for $1,500. That's right. And then the next month, it's a one time, a one time. For somebody else. Now, if that person, like if say an individual, a business, Put it in and they didn't win right can they reapply they can reapply so would, would they have to pay another 25 dollars? Yes. so they would go back into the pot if you will again that's right and then they would reapply and then get the, the fifteen hundred dollar yes okay that's good and now also do you have where they can come back and talk about their success story with the fifteen hundred dollars what it helped them to yes do? definitely uh, i think that is the yes. real motivation right there that's for right. other business owners right we definitely want to follow up with them and make sure that they're doing okay um you know and lead them along their journey as well mm -hmm. and we'll also have um on the site where they can get in contact with um with mentors um, accountants um other entrepreneurs and the self-help that they need um mm -hmm. in order to continue their journey mm -hmm. yeah so because you said coaches so it looks like you have a team of uh people in terms of so you this was your brain child or your ideal. Yes. And then you formulated it and then you kind of uh, 
you know, um, got the team that you would help to make this right happen. Yes. Wow. So that was just one night you were just sleeping and then this came in. Yeah, you. you know what? Um, yeah. The universe spoke to me, woke me up at like 4 o'clock in the morning and I started writing down notes. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> I do that too. Yeah. I actually, my best, uh, I just did a, a marketing, you know, in my, you know, I'm a publisher and I was doing a proposal. Right. Or, or a campaign. And in the middle of the night, it, everything just came and I got up and I started writing. Isn't that something? One time I didn't do that, or a couple times, and right. I said, oh, I remember it in the morning time. You didn't. And I didn't remember, and I was like, no, I can't believe it. Yeah. Sometimes I'll even call myself <laughs> and say it, or I'll text my husband, or I'll text Andrew, and he'll yes. be like, what does this mean? Right? I'll, say, I'll explain later, but I just want to be able to document it. That's right. So I know what you mean about that intuition, yeah. and, you know, and things yes. like that. Um, so, like, just talking about that now with, with the program and everything like that, some of the, you know, some of the challenges, especially as, like, you know, women, entrepreneurs, uh, lady bosses, is that balance. And I kind of always, whenever I have a, a strong and very successful woman like yourself, I always like to talk about sometimes the journey, sometimes the struggle. I know, you know, you overcame with the grant and, you know, with your, you know, with how you got the grant, right. which is an amazing ideal. But what are some of the, the, the balances of having, you know, the proper family balance with time with the child, your children's family? What would you say to that? Oh, in regards to family time, um, that's why I usually start early. The earlier, the better. So mm -hmm. I am a morning person. So I'm usually up between five and six. And um, I start, you know, checking my agenda, seeing what needs to be done. I do have a, a young son, 12 years old, so at least I'm there to bring him to school. And as soon as I get back, um, I'm into the books again. If I have any orders, that's when the orders are being prepared. So um, there, is, there is balance. Um, mm -hmm. a, lot of, uh, a lot of it is uh, jotting down stuff. Mm -hmm. So oh, very nice. yeah, just trying to yeah. stay organized that way. Yeah, yeah. So you basically, what you're saying is that as organized as you can be, than that, and you make time for your family. So right. it's not like, as a, it's not like you say, I will do that when. It's like, okay, I'm gonna one to two. This yes. is what I'm gonna do. And when my child comes home, help him with the homework, and I go back. That's right. So you have a good balance. Yeah, yeah. I like that. It works. I like that. Yeah. So in our final moments, I just want everybody to know where they can go. A, if they want your delicious cakes. Okay. And B, if they would like to apply for a grant. Okay, so for my online bakery, it's uh, www.monfreezrumcakes.com, and I can spell that out. Sure. M-O-N-F-R-I-E-S-E-R-U-M-C-A-K-E-S. -E -E nice. So I do have a website. Monfries, that's a nice, yes, love uh, your name. Francais. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I am on Instagram and Facebook as well. Same names, Monfreeze Rum Cakes. And for the grant, um, we will be starting issuing that as of February of this year. Okay, so, it's so they have time then. They time. have time. So the website will be up on the 1st of February for them wow. to apply. And wow. that's the 1111successgrant.com uh, website. Okay, yes. so February of, of end of Feb uh, beginning of February? Of, yeah. Okay, all right. So that's perfect. And so um, is there any, uh, I guess, any upcoming major... Um, I guess wedding season is, is your busy season that's coming up, eh? That's right. Nice. Uh, there are a couple of events brewing, uh, so I'm preparing for them. I so like I'm, I'm quite excited. A couple of events brewing, you yeah. say stirring up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, in my final moments, I just would like to thank you. Um, this, you you're a wonderful guest, and I hope you come on back. I will. And bring some treats next time for us. <laughs> I will. Um, very, very inspiring. Uh, I'm absolutely loving what you do in your you're living fearlessly, and that's yes. how we should all live. Right. So I thank you for coming. Thank you. And I thank you all for joining us today. And I want you to know that if you have an inspiring story, or you want to share a rags to ridiculous tale, or you're just a lady boss like here, like Christine, with a business to promote, please email me at Janice underscore Smith at Hotmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Lady Boss TV mm -hmm. one channel, the YouTube channel, and follow us on follow me on Twitter at Janice One. So all I want you guys to do is keep smiling, and thank you for watching. Thank you. Janice.